I forbid you to marry de Rodion. You forbid? And why? Because... Well, you please allow me to tell you the reason. Now then, to come quickly, incredibly quickly to the point, you are forbidding me to marry Camille because you still love me. I? Really? <laughs> oh, don't giggle like a half -wing. It's the only giggle I've got. <laughs> You are forbidding. Yes. I am the fatherland. The fatherland? Well, your millions have to remain in the country to keep it going. Well, the fatherland can breathe again. My marriage to Camille is off. Off? Oh, a rendezvous in the pavilion? I didn't have that rendezvous. It was another woman. Another woman? She happened to be married. So to help her out of a horribly compromising situation, I stepped into the breach. And that, dear Tom, is that. And you're telling me this only now? You stood there letting me go black, blue, and heliotrope in the face with sheer rage and misery. And all this that you're telling me, all this is because... No, it's because... Yes? It's because... Oh, why the devil do you open your mouth like a man and say because you love me? Anna! Yes? Oh, Anna, it's because I... Yes? It's because I... Yes? It's because of the fatherland. <laughs> Also go to Maxine every evening because of the fatherland, I suppose. Of course. Oh, you. Yes, what am I? Yes. Let's have it at last. I can't do that. I can't. Love unspoken, faith unbroken.
my friend. Have you seen her? Oh, there you are! <laughs> Where do we stand? Uh, Madame Glavari's marriage due to Rossignol is off. Bravo, Count Zinovich! You will be awarded the Grand Carbuncle of Pontevedria. <laughs> With star? Naturally, you're a genius. Uh, but tell me, if this is so, why should the lady compromise herself in such a manner? But Madame wasn't compromised at all, not one little bit. She merely stepped into the brace at the last moment to save another lady. Another? Oh, no. Yes, a married lady, of course. Oh, oh. and pray, who was this married lady? Excellency, this fan has been found in the summer house. Oh, that fan! But Count Danilo, this isn't the fan I gave you to keep for me. I know, but I lost. Ah. What's <laughs> this? My wife's handwriting! I'm lost! You're divorced! <laughs> Madam, you'll be pleased and I hope interested to hear that I am free, single, divorced. Can so much happy to stop her, but why? That's why, and before these witnesses, I have the honor, in the name of the Fatherland, to ask for your hand in marriage. Oh, your proposal flatters me, but you do the Fatherland no service. Oh? I might as well explain that according to my late husband's will, codicil number five. Oh, Jacob, Jacob, codicil number five! It is laid down that in the event of my marrying again... Marrying again! I should lose my whole fortune. Lose the whole... What? Anna, is this true? You mean you would have no money, none at all? None at all. Anna, my beloved Anna, I love you. I love you. I love you. At last. He loves us. <laughs> he marries her without a fortune. Where the you do we go from here? Oh, it's all quite simple. I should lose my money because it would at once become the sole property of my husband. Darling, I'd have married you even if you'd had 40 million. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but this fan, oh, right? It won't did you nice. read what I wrote on it, my dear? I don't think you did. I'm a highly respectable wife and I love my husband. Where is the scoundrel? I'll have him shot. Please to me. Wait, darling, will you ever forgive me? Champagne! What to think, what to say, what to do? What to tell, what to say, what to do? Be married in a day, and we try. Yet we try, 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 try. But we hope we must go and we can. Though it's way too much for a man. Thank you. 